Hey everybody, now we're going to do another impressioning video. Uh, I've got this uh, very nice old Master Lock number 77. Uh, I picked one similar to this a couple days ago, an older one, a little more beat up anyway. Uh, this one's pretty pristine, like it was never used or only used inside. And uh, this one actually has a legible code, but I run the code and there's no, no bidding comes up in any of the uh, databases. I've got uh, Instacode and Lock Codes, and I, and I actually had somebody else check Genera code for me, and there's no... Nothing coming up, so we're going to see if we can impression a key for it. Uh, I was a little nervous about trying this because these are riveted together and putting in the vise, you're squeezing it and all that. So I'm going to be real gentle with it and we'll see what happens. Uh, so first things first here be to get this in the vise and use this uh, belt here to soften, soften it a little bit or not, not mar it up anyway. All right. Camera set up here. Okay. All right. So we're in there. So far, so good. I don't want to put it too tight. Like I said, I don't want to break this thing. It's a pretty cool old lock. And got a key blank cut to zeros. So I got my spacing down on it. And I'm using my HPC clean grip, which you totally don't need and is kind of a waste of money. The only cool thing about it over pliers is it doesn't mark the key up. You know, just basically doing more practice too. I still want to get a key going for this guy. I've been sitting here trying and um, no luck as of yet. So these master locks seem to be a lot easier and just sloppier tolerances or the pins are sharper and they mark better or something. I don't know. But uh, anyway, here we go. We're going to be using also, of course, our Pippin file and our uh, key gauge. So we're at zeros now. Going to the lock, turning pressure. So I don't want to put this too tight. I'm going to do a little bit of rocking on it. And I got magnifying glass over here. And I'm going to look for marks. Yeah, very clear marks on numbers. Okay, one has a tiny mark on it. I'm going to leave it alone. Nothing on two, three, and four have definite marks. In my last video, I was having a hard time showing the marks. I don't know if this will be any better, but I like to try to show them. I don't know. I don't think it's any better. Well, I guess if there, if you can see him, you can see him. If you can't, you can't. Hopefully, hopefully you can. I can't see him on the screen, but anyway, got a file now. So we're gonna go. check my key gauge here just to make sure that I'm all the way to the next depth because I don't want to be filing friggin half cuts so we're at a one and a one so good and then it does look to me like there is a mark on number one so see if it gets any better Again, I'm being careful with this lock here because I mean these things look like you could probably take a screwdriver and just pry them apart. Okay, looking back our key here. So the only mark I really see is on number one. And once again, I have no idea if you can see it or not. I'll try to change the light here and turn that light off just for a second. See if that helps at all. Yeah, that might be better actually. You can see that on number one there. Zoom back out. I'm just going to leave that light off. Oh, I forgot to file. <laughs> Dumbass.
And grab my key gauge again here. And we are at one, maybe even a little bit too far, but should be all right. And I go back in the lock here. Okay, got kind of a faint mark on number four. And another mark on number one. Mark on one, I don't know if it's gonna kind of a faint one on one and a really faint one on four. And I'm not going to file four because I know four is uh, it's probably a mark, but it's pretty faint. I think I'm just going to take one pass on it, real light pass, and then it'll mark again if it is a mark. Oh, the lock almost turned there. Look, I think it's actually going to open here. Where the key is breaking, one of the two. Uh, the lock's opening. Okay, so the lock's open. That's definitely not the right bidding, though, because that's really, really hard to uh, hard to turn here. So the lock's open now. Okay, we can see on four. Um, there's a really awesome mark on four. Can't get the damn camera to focus. There's actually a really, really great mark on it, too. I'm going to go take a damn picture of it. All right, take a damn picture of it. I'll put it back in the lock. I need to file it here. Measure real quick. Okay, so we're barely at one, so we're going to go to a two here. Okay. Got to zoom back out. Okay, there we go. Now it's working pretty well. So I think that's our bidding. This actually worked out good for a video here. I'm going to have uh, two, zero, one, two. This is the bidding on the key. And uh, so that went really easily. See, then this happens where it's pretty easy. And then, of course, the shallow depths make it easier. And then I still haven't been able to get that core. But I probably went through five or six blanks already messing around with that. But uh, anyway, there's a uh, Master Lock number 77 uh, impressioned, and uh, I guess that's going to uh, do it for this video then, and uh, we'll talk to everybody later.